Hi, I'm Nev. Is your phone storage full and you're trying to move some apps from the internal storage of your phone to your SD card and you just realize that you can't do it? And now the only option that you have is deleting important files like pictures, videos and even some of your favorite apps. Well, stop right there. Let me tell you today is your lucky day because I'm about to explain the only way to move apps to your SD card even if your phone doesn't even support it, like mine. Stupid phone can even do a simple job. Of course, there are certain apps that your phone might let you move to the SD card, but there are others like the ones that come pre-installed in your phone that can't be moved, like Gmail, Google Search, and others. But it doesn't matter what kind of app it is, we're gonna be able to move it. And if you watch until the end of this video, I have a surprise for you guys. It's a cool trick that you might find it useful. Anyways, this is how you do it. Basically, we're gonna need to download two free apps, but most importantly, your phone needs to be rooted. I know, some of you are gonna be like, I don't know how to root my phone, and others might say, is that even legal? Well, let me tell you, no, rooting your phone is not illegal anymore, and now it has become easier than ever before. I would love to explain how to root your phone, but every smartphone is different, so certain methods might not work with your specific device, so you can try these 5 methods. Kingo root, I root, Frama root, King root, and Towel root. They are very popular and safe, so probably one of these methods might work with your phone, so just give it a try. Now, assuming that your phone is already rooted, we are gonna start by going to Google Play and type A parted. A B A R T E D. Download it and install it. Once it's done, look for another app called Link to SD and, of course, install it in your phone. You also need to unmount and format your SD card. After that, open a part it. Basically, this app creates partitions in the SD card, and we're gonna need two. One for all your stuff like pictures, videos, and music, and the other partition for the apps that are gonna be linked to the SD. Tap on the Add button. We're gonna leave this partition as FAT32, which is gonna be our regular storage, so slide the thing to the right until you get to the amount of space desired. My SD card is 16GB, so I'm going to leave it at 14GB. Then tap on the add button once again, and this time change it to ext2. This is gonna be the partition dedicated for apps, so change the size accordingly to the amount of apps that you're gonna be linking. So if you don't have large apps like mobile games, change the size to around 2000 megabytes or 2 gigabytes. Then just tap apply and OK. After doing that, open link to SD and grant root access. And then select ext2. And then check don't ask again. Then hit OK. After that, tap on reboot device. When it turns back on, open link to SD again. And this is when the fun part begins. Just look for the apps that you want to move to the SD. In my case, it's gonna be this MMORPG called Dofus Touch, which by the way, is an awesome game. The app is 89 megabytes, and as you see, it shows that it's located at the phone internal storage. Since my phone doesn't support moving apps at all, just hit link to SD card, then hit OK. 
And as you see, the app transfer 61% of the total size of the app to the SD card, which is saving me a decent amount of space. And now I'm gonna show you that I can also link the apps that come pre-installed in the phone like Google Play Services and Google Play Store. As you see, in this case, I could transfer 98% of the app, which is almost the whole app. From here, you can also delete apps that by default, the phone won't let you uninstall. For example, the weather app. I don't use it, I don't need it, and it's only taking my precious space, so I'm going to uninstall it. There, it's gone forever. And also, let's uninstall a part it. We don't need it anymore at this point. And just like I promised, here is a trick that I wanted to teach you. Basically, when you use your phone after a while, it starts getting slow, or the apps sometimes crash. Well, Link to SD comes with a nice tool, which is clearing the app data and the cache. It even comes with a nice widget, so you don't even have to open the app to do that. For example, right now I have 162 megabytes of cache. It's pretty much the same size of some of my apps, which is a lot because it's only there taking your space. So let's get rid of it. So whenever you see the cache, it starts taking a lot of space. Just clear it up. And that's it. If you like this video, please share it so other people like your friends or family members might benefit from this information. And if you encounter any problem, don't hesitate to ask any question and leave your comment. Please check out my channel to watch more videos like this one and subscribe so you won't miss anything. Until the next time.